Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, A registration, so either 1983 or 84. Land Rover lightweight with 200 TDI power that you can see lurking behind me there. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of uh, engine starting and idling action at the end. Hope you like them. Okay, let's take this uh, <coughs> A registration, so it's either 83 or 84, this one. I think it's an 84. Um, Land Rover lightweight uh, that's been upgraded with 200 TDI power and parabolic springs and what have you. It's had a fortune spent on this over the last year by someone that was um, looking to build, if you like, the uh, uh, the ultimate lightweight. And I think they've succeeded. It's certainly a really, really thoroughly sorted example. Um, odometer reading is 1500 miles. Now clearly that isn't correct. It has had a new speedo in it. Um, because the uh, the old one was in kilometres, as most of them are. Um, I can't remember what the previous owner said the mileage was, but uh, suffice to say, with the replacement engine, it's also had things like replacement rear axle and stuff. It's not really relevant. Anyway, all light ignition light come on as they should. Um, needs a little bit of heat to start it from cold, but not when it's hot now. Starts absolutely on the button, and obviously. Uh, a 200 TDI engine that is about as uh, dependable as they come from that point of view. Gearbox is also uh, a recent reconditioned exchange item as is the transfer box, certainly within the last 12 months. Let's put it in reverse properly, there we go. Need some wipers, it's raining. A little bit of clutch pilot bush noise just on uh, that's the windscreen wipers that you can hear again. But uh, I'll turn those off for a minute doing it now but there was a little bit of clutch pilot bush grown nothing to worry about just obviously something to do with the with the design it's also got a new clutch in it and off we go now it does drive really really well um, including it's got quite a lot of soundproofing under the bonnet two other TDI conversions we've had before seem to vibrate a lot and be really really noisy this one is actually pretty good Let's turn the heater on a bit nasty old day here today but it just gets up with it it rides better than one on standard leaves on parabolic springs Obviously the term in TDI is probably a little bit too talky for the um, for the running gear if you're sort of doing heavy off-roading and stuff, but on the road it's fine. It steers superbly, I'm not having to sort of fight it along the road. Nice. 
got this fume cone behind me as well. It does keep it a bit more snug in the weather like this. excellent I really do I think previous owners done a really really good job on this mind you the bills are uh, quite horrendous for it over the past 12 months but he's done a very good job um, so there we have it my name's Simon you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drone.com for any more info right quick video start up and running on this uh, a registration Land Rover Lightweight. All light ignition light come up as they should. Check it's in neutral. Starts exactly as it should, whether hot or cold. And then there we have a 200 TDI conversion from a 1989 Discovery. Doing what it should. Quite a neat conversion, actually. In my opinion. So yeah, there we have it. 